This battery-powered drill machine is capable of drilling holes in any wall by rapidly spinning a drill bit. Its spinning ability comes from an electric motor installed in it, like this one. Electric motors are widely used in battery-powered electrical equipment. In this video, you'll learn about how the electric motor works. Let's start with the basics of electricity using a simple light bulb circuit. The flow of electricity in this circuit depends on the movement of free electrons in the metallic wires. However, the electrons do not move until an external force, called the voltage, pushes them. The battery supplies the necessary voltage required for the continuous flow of electricity. When the battery is connected to a bulb through metallic wires, the electricity starts to flow, and the bulb turns on. The conventional direction of electricity flow is from the battery's positive terminal towards the negative terminal. The direction of electric current can be reversed by either switching the wire connection with the bulb or flipping the battery. Electricity requires an uninterrupted conducting path to flow within the circuit. If the wire connection breaks at any point within the circuit, the electricity will stop flowing. These are the basics of electricity. Now, let's move on to the next important element of the electric motor, the magnet. A magnet attracts nearby magnetic materials like these metallic paper clips. It has two poles, north and south. When the north pole of one magnet is brought close to the south pole of another, they begin to attract each other before they even touch. However, when two similar poles are brought closer, they repel each other. This force of attraction and repulsion from a distance is due to the invisible magnetic field, which is an area around the magnet in which other magnets and metals experience the magnet force. The magnetic field can be visualized by drawing the magnetic field lines around the magnet. The arrows indicate the direction of the magnetic field. In a bar magnet, the magnetic field lines run from the north pole towards the south. In the case of two opposite poles, the magnetic field lines run from the north to the south pole. For similar poles, the magnetic field lines point outward. The properties of magnets are quite remarkable, but their practical applications are limited because they are always on and cannot be turned off. This is why they're referred to as permanent magnets. However, for an electric motor, we require a magnet that can be switched on and off. Interestingly, it's possible to create such a magnet by turning any metal into a magnet. Let's explore how this can be achieved. When a straight metallic wire is connected to a circuit, electricity moves through it and creates a magnetic field around it, turning it into a magnet. Such a magnet is called an electromagnet. The magnetic field lines for a straight wire are in the form of concentric circles around the wire. The direction of the magnetic field can be determined by using a simple right-hand rule. If a straight wire is held in the right hand with the thumb pointing in the direction of the current, then the fingers will curl in the direction of the magnetic field. Changing the direction of the electric current will change the direction of the magnetic field. When the electricity stops, the metallic wire will be demagnetized and return to a normal state. This is how an electromagnet works. Electromagnets form the core of an electric motor because of how they behave when placed within the magnetic field of an external magnet. When a current carrying straight wire is placed perpendicular to the magnetic field of another magnet, the wire experiences a force perpendicular to both the magnetic field and the direction of electric current. This is called the motor effect. It happens because on the left side, the magnetic fields of both the magnet and the wire point in the same direction, creating a powerful magnetic field. However, on the right side, the magnetic fields are in opposite directions, resulting in a weaker magnetic field. As the wire experiences greater force on the left side compared to the right, it starts moving towards the right side, perpendicular to the magnetic field and the direction of the current. For the wires to experience this effect, the wires must be perpendicular to the direction of the external magnetic field. 
If the wires are placed parallel to the external magnetic field, they will not experience movement, as the strength of the magnetic fields on both sides of the wire will be the same. The direction of the force can be determined by using the right-hand rule. If the fingers of an open hand point in the direction of the magnetic field and the thumb points in the direction of the current, then the palm will face in the direction of the force. Electric motors work by utilizing the motor effect to rotate a coil of wire within a magnetic field. In a simple electric motor, a coil of wire, called the armature, is positioned within the magnetic field produced by a permanent magnet. The coil's ends are linked to the split copper rings known as the commutator. Two brushes maintain constant contact with the rotating commutator and are connected to the battery. Electric current flows into the coil through one brush and exits through the other. When an electric current passes through the coil, it becomes an electromagnet and interacts with a magnetic field. This interaction causes the armature to experience a force in a direction perpendicular to both the magnetic field and the direction of the current, as per the motor effect. Using the right-hand rule for the motor effect, we can see that the black segment of the coil experiences the upward force, and the white segment experiences the downward force, resulting in clockwise rotational motion. When the coil reaches the vertical position, both brushes come opposite to the gap between the commutator segments. The circuit breaks momentarily and no charge flows. However, the coil's inertia keeps it rotating until the brushes make contact again, this time with the other half of the ring. This reverses the direction of the electric current through the coil. Using the right-hand rule for the motor effect, we can see that now the black segment experiences a downward force and the white segment experiences an upward force, which results in clockwise rotational motion. When the coil reaches the vertical position again, both brushes come opposite to the gap between the commutator segments, and the electricity stops flowing until the brushes make contact again with the other half of the ring. This reverses the direction of the electric current again. Now, the black segment experiences an upward force, and the white segment experiences a downward force, this switching process repeats every half cycle to keep the coil rotating clockwise. This is how a simple electric motor works. This simple electric motor design is not very efficient as the coil slows down every time it reaches the vertical position. To overcome this problem, a multi-segmented commutator is used. Each coil is connected to two oppositely faced commutator segments. Every time a coil comes perpendicular to the magnetic field, it experiences an upward or downward force due to the motor effect, and the motor keeps rotating without slowing down. Electric motor power is increased by replacing a single coil with multiple coils. This increases the magnetic field strength, and the motor effect intensifies. DC electric motors operate by harnessing the interaction between electrical currents and magnetic fields to produce mechanical motion. By understanding the inner workings of DC electric motors, we gain a deeper appreciation for their role in driving technological advancements. If you like this video and want to see more such videos, then please subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.